Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech, and today we are going to be disabling some Windows 10 spying stuff. Now, um, I'm in a different setting than I usually am because my camera's giving me a little bit of trouble, but that shouldn't bother us because we most of the stuff we're going to be doing is on the desktop anyway. So, let's get started. Now, the first thing what we're going to need to do is actually navigate over to Settings over to privacy and start disabling all this stuff. Now, when you disable all this stuff, you're gonna read, just read it a little bit. It says, send Microsoft info how I write to help us improve typing and writing in the future. That's stuff like, hey, let me do a keylogger and remember all your passwords and send it to Microsoft. Basically, a lot of this stuff could be disabled and we don't need to notify Microsoft. I don't know what they're gonna use with that information. They say it's gonna help them, but who knows? For me, I'd rather keep it secure and disable anything that I could find. Location, that's something I could disable also. Camera, disable. You could just keep going down the list and read the options and disable basically anything that you might find that you don't like or most cases, all this stuff could be disabled. And if it's giving you trouble, just enable that one item again. Now. The biggest reason why I have you here at this video is not because, just not just because we're disabling all this stuff. Another thing is, Spybot, if you guys ever heard of them, has created a program called Anti Beacon, and what this does is actually automatically disables all the spying software that Microsoft has. Now, if you're familiar with the November update, and that's that's quite some time already, even if you have everything disabled. After the update, Windows 10 decided, hey, I'm going to re-enable everything. So this program basically runs in the background and automatically disables everything for you. So don't do the portable app install. Actually install the whole program. Don't do the, if you do the portable install, you won't be able to get the automatic uh, disabling features every time you boot up your computer. Now, I haven't ran this program yet. I've ran it on other computers that I have, but for here, we're gonna run. Yes, install everything. Yes, next, accept, next. Actually, I should read all that stuff. Immunize system after each system restart. All right, install, launch, and you're gonna see that a whole bunch of stuff is gonna start being found. 2% is protected, one of 53 objects. So let's hit immunize. Now it's gonna block everything, the host, services, group policies, everything that we don't need. It's just gonna basically block everything. And that's basically stopping a lot of the spying software that Microsoft has injected on our systems that we don't need. Now going through these optimal settings, you could actually apply web search group policy, Cortana group policies, you could apply OneDrive, you know, once you hit apply, it's gonna block that service. OneDrive group policy, I don't use OneDrive, so I'm gonna block that also. Bing's IP, uh, I could block that so it doesn't search for Bing because who uses Bing really? Telemetry hosts, I could apply for those. Office 2015 group policies, I could apply for those. You can see, you could just go through everything and just apply what you, uh, won't be using and you could undo it if you feel that it's giving you a problem you can just go back and undo it and then this will tell you all the logs of what you did and there's more options here what they did more detailed explanations and that will after you install it it's going to protect your system every time on reboot i'm going to leave a link in the descriptions on where you can get this application uh try it out I've been using it for my other systems and it seems to be working. I actually feel that they're less spying on me. I, I don't know if that's a term. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a pretty short one. I had to put something together. I'm actually working on a bigger project and uh, that should be out next week. If you guys like this video, please hit the thumbs up. If you guys have any questions about this, you could leave it in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that little subscribe button. That helps me a lot. Also gives you a notification on when the next video is gonna be out. As I say in my nerd cave, hack till it hurts. Hey, thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe, it helps me a lot. And if you want to watch more videos like this, I'll post a link right here.